Yerevan here in Armenia. I still can't believe I'm saying that. We finally found it. And you have just ridden it. Just gonna go for it. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning guys from the beautiful Yerevan here in Armenia. I still can't believe I'm saying that. It doesn't feel real. I'm so excited to be here. If you haven't watched our last video, it was our first full day exploring. Um, this is day two and we are basically gonna check out more of the city that we didn't get to do yesterday. And we did a workout this morning. Oh my God, we actually managed to do a workout. Uh, wasn't quite as long as we expected, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. Uh, and it is the early afternoon now, so we do need a light snack. I'm not gonna go full out for lunch. I'm hoping to get more traditional food for dinner. Um, but we're going to head to probably one of the best places in Armenia or Yerevan to get lamajan. Lamajan is a traditional Middle Eastern Armenian flatbread topped with minced meat and vegetables, spices. I think it's the perfect light snack for the afternoon. I feel like I need to take some credit before really? we even again? get to the lamajan. I, I did my research again. Apparently, this does the best Armenian lamajan street food that you can find, and it's in like a bit of a quieter part of the city. I don't even know if there's different districts, but I know there's different districts. I think we're still in the main centre, but it's a lot more quiet. We've here. wandered round all these I always roads think to quieter find it. places means better street food, right? Better local food. Why is everywhere I find always way too residential and hidden? It says it's somewhere here by these apartment buildings, but. I don't know Google mate, it's got to be through here. We really thought it was closed, so when I called them, the guy was like, you're nearly here, you're nearly here, he's coming up to meet us. This is definitely the best lamager. We finally found it, uh, thanks to the lovely guy here. We made it. We've got lamagen. Apparently, on the because of the buildings around here, Google Maps directs you wrong. It sends you left, right and so centre. So this is the sign, this is what you're looking for. I'm excited. No. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've done one again, yeah. haven't I? Again, I hate to give you so much credit, but yesterday you've done well, today you've done well finding these little hole in the wall. I'm gonna put my name on. The nicest family ever. That is why yeah. you find these ones. Amazing. This is why you do your research like Matt does, because you can find the places that most people don't come to. And they're gonna be the best. What do you do with the lamagin, by the way? I'm not sure. Do I just rip it? Should we ask the best way to eat it? No, I think I've just ripped it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh. Oh my god, it's literally minced meat, minced beef, minced beef, tomatoes, herbs, like cilantro. Squeeze the lemon on top, and it is so thin, so fresh, just cooked right now. This is actually so nice. I actually got to go in and see how they were made, and it's, it's so clever. Just get the flatbread, make it, and then put all these ingredients on top, and then it's put in sort of like an oven, like a pizza oven type thing but all the ingredients are so fresh. And it's actually a family recipe for over 30 years and they've continued to do it, which is why this place is so great. It's a little hidden gem. Look, look all there, all the positive reviews that people have written. We're gonna have to write one and of put it on the wall. Of course we are. I'll put my lemon on top of it. And I said the, the best Armenian street food. It's such an easy snack mm. as well, isn't it? Oh wow. With the herbs, it gives it a little pip. And then is it like a tomato y yeah. type paste? It's literally like a mini pizza, but and made like the, better. I feel like the, uh, the mince beef is a little bit full. Wow. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Oh Again. God. So Enjoy. good. So good, we had to get a second. Oh my God. We've got more. They brought us out one more to try. So this is the Arabic one, uh, the Arabic one. So this would be more commonly found in Syria. Apparently from Syria, this is really traditional. And it has pomegranate and different spices. I've already had a bite, so I know it's like, it's really crunchy. And almost, I don't know how to explain it exactly, crunchy, not smart, sweet, really. yeah, not as much meat, but it's a lot crunchier. It's large or too extra large? Extra large, I mean. Extra large, just one minute. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, thank you. Oh my God, Lamachon guides, unbelievable. Honestly, sometimes that is why I do the research like this, because you could go into a, a big restaurant here and you could try it, all these restaurants that are rated well, but you find a little hidden gem like that. The family, incredible, 30 years passed down from generation to generation, and they even gave us t-shirts at the end, so we can literally represent the Lamachun <laughs> while walking around, like the best Armenian street food you can get. Definitely highly recommend that. Please go and check them out. The family are lovely, but we actually do need a full belly because today's gonna be a bit of a hard one, a bit of a hard video. Um, we're gonna check out the Genocide Memorial and Genocide Museum, which, um, 
It's gonna be difficult. I don't know how much we're gonna film. It's a, uh, it's a hard time. The Armenia have gone through so many hardships, and to see them coming out the other side is a great thing. But you've got to remember the history, and um, these things are always difficult. that we are full, I think it's only right we tackle the Armenian Metro. Did you now, even know there was an Armenian Metro? Yeah, you probably didn't many know do. that, um, but obviously as Armenia was part of the Soviet Union, it is supposedly a Soviet railway or metro station. So I'm excited to see it. I think some of it's been it's knocked down redone. or being renovated, um, but it was built back in the 1980s. It was the eighth metro system in the Soviet Union. So during the Soviet Union, they would only build a metro station or a metro line if the population was one million people or more. Now Yerevan never, and Armenia never actually made it to one million. So they did it. I don't know how they, they got away lucky. with it. I love it already. As soon as you come down, huge like Soviet, water fountain and it's actually one of the smallest metro lines in the world it only has 10 stops it's also one of the cleanest but also molly has just told me where we're going to we can't get the metro to because the stop that we would go to it would still be a three kilometer walk so the metro is going to have to wait you can almost just smell the soviet i really wanted to get the metro So we've just made it after a short taxi ride to the Genocide Museum and Memorial Complex. Um, it's actually a few kilometres outside of the city centre and it's set in a beautiful location surrounded by trees that have been planted to remember the fallen um, on top of a hill so everyone around the city can see it and it's like a striking image. It's um, maybe something that I didn't know about which is, is bad to say and I think most people maybe didn't know about the genocide here in Armenia. Um, everyone's going to know about the Holocaust and some may know about the genocide in Cambodia but had you heard of the one in Armenia where in 1915 1.5 million people were, were murdered um, and it's, it's, hard, it's hard to talk about and hard to put into perspective but we're going to go and check out the memorial and then after that the museum but I don't think we'll we'll film too much in the museum um, I think it's a little bit disrespectful but it's set in a beautiful location you've got Ararat in the distance it is honestly so so peaceful I find it kind of hard to to sort of put into your mind where you are and the reason for what you're looking at when you have beautiful views and you're in a gorgeous garden but behind me is a hundred meter wall where it has the names of all the towns and villages where people were mass executed and deported which is just awful i think it makes it worse when you see how many towns and villages are written on there and it goes on for such a long way like it's just just an awful awful thing and then the striking the most striking thing that you can actually see from the city of Yerevan is the 44 meter tower you can't even see at the top you can't even see some of it it is honestly so tall and it's basically to symbolize the rebirth of Armenia we're now just coming down into the temple of eternity um, Oh, it really does make your voice echo where there are 12 huge slabs um, and each one is to remember a different state that was that is now gone that's not part of armenia and of course you have the eternal flame where people have left their flowers but it's with just me and molly here it's so peaceful it's like a place to reflect and to remember because it really is something that in the west it's not talked about enough that was tough. You've got to be, uh, you've definitely got to be prepared to go in there. It's, uh, it's real, it's raw, it's, uh, it's definitely emotional. Um, it's touching and to put into perspective, the 1.5 million people that were killed in the genocide, the population of Armenia now is 3 million, the population of Yerevan is a million, so over the whole population of this city was taken out in one but we've got the taxi back down into the main city and we are in bar bar so now yerevan has got a really thriving bar scene they're um they're really going for it they're really working on it so 
fucking ads to them people. They deserve it, honestly. And I think the West, it should be spoken about more because like I said, we speak about other genocides a lot more and I feel like this is definitely forgotten. We have a very nice bar sitting outside. The weather's been good for us actually. And this is non-alcoholic. We're doing well. We're trying to be a we little bit healthier. Really well. um, we've noticed recently that We've been eating bad and not we're going just to the gym enough. not going to the gym enough. We're just feeling a little bit low, so we've decided a healthy pina colada smoothie will do us good. I love how when you walk around Yerevan, you can get lost down all these side streets. Like, we were only one street away from Republic Square, but we felt like we were completely different and it was a tiny little bar connected to a hotel and we had a mocktail like who even are we having mocktails um but we're now heading to one of the other things that you should see here in Yerevan that we also didn't get to see yesterday and that is the blue mosque now it's actually very unusual because Armenia being a predominantly Christian country there is a mosque here and it actually happens to be the last mosque standing um it dates back to about the 18th century it's blue for a reason so I'm hoping we can see, Matt's not dressed appropriately to see inside, but we will see the outside. Hopefully there's somewhere we can ch chill out and admire the beauty. It's actually a really impressive building. You wouldn't know it was here. It's a good little stop as well when you're walking around the city. Um, you have to go through like a little tunnel basically through into the courtyard and the grounds here of the mosque which are really really nice and is actually the only one of the eight mosques of Yerevan that is still active and still used today which is crazy and during the Soviet era it actually was used as a museum and then recently it was renovated in 2015 it was actually gifted to Iran because of the relationship between Iran and Armenia they have a really close relationship they don't actually need a visa between the two so travel between the two is very easy and it's kind of poignant after being at the genocide museum earlier all the bad but then you can see the good where two countries get on why can't all countries just get on it and make things so much easier um, and they actually even do Persian lessons here as well and you can sort of see that in the influence of the country sort of Persian Eastern European all mixed in one. Don't actually know if we can go in I'm to the sure. mosque. Well, I'm um, in shorts. There's a barrier and I did say Matt's not dressed appropriately. Um, but yeah, as Matt said, it's a good stop to come. Very colourful, not like what I have seen before. It's but... very better to look at from the outside. Yeah. It's a blue I mean, mosque, it's quite unique. It's look the only at that. one in the country. That landscape is pretty beautiful. But I need some food. To our compote. Oh my god, look, we're so healthy. I told you we were trying to be a bit healthier, but we've come into the tavern Yerevan, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's very medieval in here, isn't it? Um, and you kind of go underground and you've got big medieval weird chairs. I like it. It's dark, it's wooden, um, and we have two, I would say, unique new, two traditional, new traditional dishes. dishes. We haven't tried these yet. We haven't excited. tried these yet. I'm excited. I love how the compote comes. You get your little swirl. You're basically like the Woo! compote. Compot maker. <laughs> so much new Armenian food. I'm excited. I've got a pilaf, which is basically Armenian rice. I've I got it, it with. Pilaf. That's what I thought. Of. It smells good. It comes with wheat and what was it? Mushrooms. And mushrooms. Love my mushrooms. And you have got the Armenian kebab, which is called Horovets. Horovets. That looks really good. And of course, you couldn't go anywhere without a bowlful. A tray, a tray fruit. I'm gonna get a bit of lavash, a bit of my rice, and then afterwards I'm gonna steal a bit of your. Uh... Oh, I'm sure you will. Of course, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just do it with my hands, go straight in like that. I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably doing it so wrong. Wrap it up. Wow, I am stuffed, and I feel so proud of us for eating healthy food. High five. High five. Again, chicken and rice. Chicken and rice, uh, lavash, the best thing ever, and it came to nine pounds. Like I cannot actually believe that we I'm obsessed had obsessed the armenian kebab armenian kebab and um, you're obviously obsessed with lavash too oh my god yeah the burrito i don't know if it's meant to be done but get a bit of the kebab a bit of my pilaf pilaf armenian rice mix it up with the lavash we've got an armenian everyone burrito. was staring at him but we have moved across the city to the annie grand hotel um and basically i need to give you a room tour it's only yeah, fair it's a very big room we have already done our workout this morning, so it's a little bit messy. The room is messy because I've been editing over there, but we have a huge bed, loads of space. We have our sofa chair, 
Wardrobes. I like the spinny chair. Spinny chair, office chair. I'm office excited chair. to be doing some work. Behind me, or behind you now, is the biggest view, which you can't see now because it's dark. And we have a huge bathroom with a walk-in shower, and they kind of have a unique type. Is that Venice? I you think can, it might be Venice. You can go for a poo while looking at Venice. Oh, that's so vulgar. To work off my food, I'm gonna go downstairs, or we're gonna go downstairs and swim. You swimming? I'm swimming. We're gonna swim, we're gonna be healthy, and hopefully this will continue for the whole time we Until the next beer comes. I really do not know if we're gonna keep up this swimming every day, but it's so nice to have a swimming pool here at Annie Grand and gym so we can swim and gym, feel a little bit healthier um, and take our mind off today. The Genocide Museum and Memorial Complex is definitely something that you should see, but it's hard, be prepared, um, but you should definitely go there because you need to learn about it. It's something I didn't know about, but our Lamachun this morning, honestly, them little hidden gems just make your day. It's not, it's not the experience, it's definitely the people. And I'm finding that more and more here, oh my God, I'm out of breath, in Armenia. And we have so much more left to explore, both in Yerevan and the rest of the country. See you in the next one.